this is an Eastern River Cooter. And uh, it's got kind of a funny name, but actually, uh, the way that they got this name is that the, uh, the slaves that were brought over from Africa called turtles Kudas. And then the white people kind of made it like a white people thing and called it a Cooter. So now we have Cooters when they were originally Kudas. So that's why we get the name that we still use today, the Cooter. So uh, sometimes you'll hear redneck folks call them streaker necks, old streaker necks. And then when they're talking about that, the, they're talking about the, the cooter. But this is a vegetarian turtle. It eats mostly plants, whereas a lot of the turtles we've looked at, they eat meat, uh, they might eat crayfish or fish. This is a turtle that eats mostly plants. Now it's funny, when you go to some of these rivers that this river cooter lives in, you don't see many plants with big leaves. It's not real obvious, but what they do eat that you don't even notice the algae that's growing on the logs and on the rocks. They go along and they graze on that, just like a cow. They really are like the cows of the turtle world. And in some places, these are incredibly abundant and you don't see any plants around and you wonder how they survive. They're just eating that algae that grows on the rocks and logs. They get quite a bit bigger than this. A river cooter can get 15 or 16 inches long and at that size, about 15 or 16 pounds. So it's a it's a large turtle. You'll see some types of cooters for sale at the show here that are really tiny. But you just have to realize that any turtle that you get as a baby 